Uh, Vladimir Putin won his election, and uh, some people are saying he really didn't win because it really wasn't an election because it's fixed. Yeah, that's what they say. Well, Donald Trump actually called up and congratulated Putin on his win. And a lot of people are pissed that Donald Trump would call up Putin and congratulate him on anything. But that's exactly what he did. Trump congratulates Putin on winning a re-election. And for that, he gets slammed by John McCain. So I totally slammed by John McCain. Now listen, guys. <clears throat> now Sarah Huckabee Sanders, press secretary, White House press secretary, she said this. We don't get to dictate how other countries operate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> she said, we don't get to dictate how other countries operate. <laughs> we, but we try all the time, Sarah, don't we? Come on, Sarah. Admit it. We try all the time. It didn't start with you. It didn't start with Trump. We've been meddling in other people's affairs for decades. We don't even apologize for doing it. We proudly, we proudly say, we're trying to spread democracy. I.e., that means meddling in other people's affairs. That's what it means. Like Jehovah Witnesses knocking on the door. Trying to spread Christ trying to spread Jehovah. Okay? And I'm not knocking you guys. My mom is Jehovah Witness. Why do you think I'm such a nice guy? So anyway. Trump congratulated Putin and the whole world goes crazy. Trump did tell reporters that he would meet with Putin in the not too distant future. I had a call with President Putin and congratulated him on the victory. His electoral victory. Trump said during the meeting with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia, the call had to do also with the fact that we will probably get together in the not too distant future so that we can discuss arms. We can discuss the arms race. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, man, we want less nuclear weapons, right? We do want this. Right? We do want an end of proliferation of nuclear devices. We do not need people with the capability of ending life on Earth. We do not need this. Okay? So, hey, hey, what's Trump, what you want Trump to do? What's Trump supposed to say? Your elections are invalid, Putin. We don't recognize you. Putin doesn't care anyway. That's his country. Those are the Russian people. This is, you know, we just don't like Russia. That's all. We don't like Russians. <clears throat> or we, or look, or they don't want us to like Russia. I've never been to Russia. Uh, I don't know. You know. What I do know is that when it comes to election or elections, that the United States has a lot that we need to get right in our own elections. Can I get some hand claps for that? <laughs> I said when it comes to elections, America has a lot that it needs to get right in its own elections. How about, for instance, a day off to vote? Yeah, hey, how about a day off to vote? How about we let people all have the day off to vote? Huh? I don't know. I think it's a good idea. I mean, since we want people to vote, how about we give them time to vote? How about we not let people stand in the hot sun for seven, eight hours to vote? It's another suggestion. How about, on the Democratic side, we get rid of these super delegates? Somehow, their votes are counted more than regular people votes. I didn't know. I mean, I know we have an oligarchy, but this is crazy. You know, the haves and the have-nots just got that on steroids. We need to get rid of superdelegates. How about anybody can vote? I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, you can vote. Why do people need to pre-select what party they vote for? Why come you can't just go in there and vote for a person, not a party? See, these are just common sense reforms to our election process. That's all. Since I mean, since we want to be looking at other people's elections going, that's right, and I don't like that, and that's fake, and that's phony, and get that out of here, and, you know, doing a matumbo. No, 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 not in my house. You know, doing that. What about our own elections? How about we have exit polls again, you know, so we can compare. We can compare what people say they voted and how they actually voted to make sure no one tampered. And speaking of tampering, how about we uh, do paper? You know, paper. Well, we vote on paper because then we can just count the paper. Instead of using machines, 
with this weird software on it that's easily hackable from the internet. How about we do that? Like, these are common sense reforms. We've been talking about this. I've been talking about this, and I'm new to the process, but I've been talking about it since 2015, 2016. These are common sense things we need to do. So instead of sitting around beating up on Putin, beating up on Trump, how about we fix our own elections, man? Give people more trust in their own elections here in the United States of America. And if we're not going to fix our own elections, the least we can do is mind our business when it comes to other people's elections. Is that wrong? Is that crazy talk? Uh Uh-oh, it's crazy talk. Tim Black just said, maybe we should mind our business and fix our own election system. I'm just saying. It's crazy. So anyway, you know, anything that Trump does or says to Putin is going to be closely watched. Whatever, man. Do Do you have evidence that they work together to get Trump elected? Do you have the evidence? If you don't have the evidence, please, please, please sit down. All right. 